This question group is about working backwards through the process. So a dilation has already taken place, but usually they're asking you to find the center and the scale factor. Now, uh, if you've got a paper and pencil technique here, uh, the best is to create the rays, or <clears throat> I'm going to create lines because I don't know what direction the dilation maybe took place. So I, I create the lines, <clears throat> which would represent the rays, the dilation that would be taking place. Great thing happens. Notice <clears throat> there they are at negative 2 and positive 1 becomes my center there because uh, they all have to dilate out of a single location. So by creating those rays or those lines, it finds that. Now the second thing is I knew it was a reduction and the reason I knew it was a reduction is because uh, B prime is closer to the center of dilation than B is. So it came, it got shorter. And the way to find out the dilation factor is to count out how far um, the slope is to the locations. Now I noticed to get to D for instance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and up 1. To get to D prime is 1, 2 and a half and up a half. Notice both those original values got halved or divided by 2. Same thing if I went to B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But to get to B prime would be up 1, 2, and a half, and over 1, 2, 3. It is exactly half. So this is an example where the center of dilation is negative 2, 1, and it would have a scale factor of 1 half. These are the techniques to use slope as well as those rays to find the information.